G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2 HD. This is a team matchup between HBZ and Duplex. I've never cast Duplex before, but HBZ should be well known to any NS2 HD viewers. And it looks like they just had a false start, 6v5, NS2 noob has crashed, but that's okay, I can introduce the game while we wait for him to come back in. We are we have a 6v6. This is HBZ versus Duplex a, Duplex HBZ being Heidesberg Saigon, which I cannot pronounce, but please excuse me guys. And I must apologize to HBZ. It's kind of a running failure on my part that is just getting really embarrassing that I can't spell their name. And in many, many casts, you'll be able to see their names, uh, their name up the top of my cast, and I will have misspelt it. So in this cast, I have spelt their name correctly, and if I haven't, I probably deserve to give someone else my uh, my YouTube password and let them take over the channel. It looks like <laughs> it looks like HB Zero are about to do something pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is gold. <laughs> Best. Right, looks like both teams are now in fact ready. I've never cast duplex before, so I'm very excited to be casting them. No doubt we'll be having a round restart any second now. Looks like HBZ are just going to be smart buggers and do this again. <laughs> How many people can you fit and kill inside oh. one command station? That is the question. Here comes the tick. There we go. The game is live. Let's introduce the players like while, we, while I fly around. Uh, we have on HPZ Squat, Shalorius, Trainee, Jer, Morty, Basti, and Depara, and we have on Duplex NS2 Noob, Cold Death, Swalk, Joes, Arga, and Shadow. You'll notice I do in fact have the minimap mod back up. It's probably a bit small, I probably need to make it a bit bigger, but it is in fact working. We have a couple of skulks coming into ventilation. Three skulks, in fact. One of them goes down. But uh, two of them now are going to chew on the unbuilt extractor and may in fact be able to take it down if they are very, very lucky. Two marines coming in. One of them goes down. Morty goes down. And then Squat goes down. I believe R on the end of the name perhaps means recruit. So perhaps means he is a new player. Playing with HPZ. Uh, bringing up the big map just to have a big look at what is going on. It is 5am for me right now, so if I am feeling, uh, if I am sounding a bit sleepy, that's, uh, well it's because I am, because it is so early in the morning, but I'm so stoked that these European teams invited me to cast that I don't care, I would cast them at 3am, and in fact I accidentally woke up at 4am, thinking that was when the cast was going to be. That's a big blow there to uh, HBZ, they've had the extractor and the power node taken down in ventilation very early in the game. So great to see some real aggression from Duplex. They know they're going up against one of the best NS2 teams out there, but they've maintained their aggression, taking down the power node at the perfect moment in Data Core as the Marines come in here. So uh, significantly reducing the visibility for the Marines in this room. While this fight goes on, looks like we've got one skull holding in heliport, possibly on the power node. We have a harvester in reactor core, no harvester in crevice though, so one harvester and or extractor a piece and that is it let's go check on the marine tech let's see what HBZ is moving for it looks like wow looks like the commander is out and there are skulks on the infantry portals so this is very aggressive play from duplex and they're having some really great success here uh, it's gonna it's it's tight we've got two skulks still in here and now only one marine alive and that is Wow, okay, this is really big. This could be game over right now if this Marine can't kill. Okay, the Skulks are down, Arga goes down, and now Lurk gassing the room. But uh, HBZ needs to recover and hold their Marine start position right now. There are more Skulks coming up. They're currently in crossroads and will be here soon. Now moving up to Pipe Junction, one more in Reactor Core. Three Marines now spawned, probably four any moment now. So this is intense. Uh, it looks like they've got enough Marines in the room now to hold the position, but that was close. That was really scary for HBZ, no doubt. They were thinking, whoa, we can't go down like this. Arms Lab now going up at 30%, and Marines pushing out. They are being quite aggressive. HBZ is not, they're not sitting on their laurels. They took damage, but they're going to keep going. But unfortunately, that's allowed a couple of Skulks to get in here. And with the gas being such an effective smokescreen, it's hard to see these skulks when they're in your base, when you've got a lurk flying around. 
gassing the whole place like that lurk is and now skulks on the infantry portal again marines coming back in from ventilation to try and hold this but duplex just doing a really great job of keeping the aggression up and pushing hbz back into marine start the arms lab going up an observatory next to it so it looks like uh, the observatory before robotics facility probably means uh Going for some phase tech ahead of Max and Arcs. HPZ feeling confident in their ability to maintain the base and not need repairs anytime soon. A gorge coming up through Pipe Junction and we have had a data core hive drop. I will uh, check out this fight. Three Marines now in there. Let's go check out the hive drop. It is now at 25% and we have cysts connecting it and hydras. So this is a really well defended position. Shalorius is no doubt going to be thinking, uh oh. But he has he scouted that out. He'll be able to tell his teammates what's going on in here. Tries to do some damage, but uh, goes down. That's to be effective. Expected crag dropped at the second hive as well. So that means that duplex went for a crag drop at their first hive. And that's quite rare. You don't often see a crag drop on the first hive these days. You, I'm, sorry, that's probably a total fallacy. You do see crag drop more often these uh, often these days, but I would expect a shade. So it's, uh, it's nice to see a crag going down. That means armor upgrades for duplex as they try to put the nail in the coffin for HPZ because HPZ have their backs against the wall. They have aliens in ventilation and flight control. So both sides of Marine start taking pressure and now the aliens are going to have fades soon that second hive is probably now on about 75 percent and the moment it pops out it is going to be very bad news for hbz looks like marines spread very thinly through crossroads let's fly down and check out what's going on here shalorius is down here and we've got basti as well morty taking pot shots at that lurk not going to be too much trouble this is dangerous because all four marines spread out like this marine site is very exposed there's currently a fight going on in there with two marines against an, an indeterminate number of skulks i think only one but there's definitely still a skulk in marine start it looks like hbz going for an attack on the rear this lurk who is this lurk this lurk is squalk and he is being really really effective really enjoying his play he's just he's putting down so much gas and it's just i i haven't seen a lurk put down that much gas in a long time so really effective play from swalk denying the marines free movement through areas forcing them to crouch get out of the way of the gas restricting their visibility very effective play the observatory is up looks like all marines doing a bit of an armory hump getting ready to move out again Two infantry portals, three infantry portals now. So, HBZ looking for fast spawn. They know they're against the wall and they're looking for fast spawn. Shotguns are out for HBZ. Swalk coming in and gassing like a crazy person. Very effective. Skulks chew down Morty on the uh, armory. And now, and one infantry portal has gone down. It must have been on low health. So maybe it was recycled to be replaced because remember HBZ doesn't have a robotics bay. Robotics Factory, what's it called? Robotics Factory. I keep mixing it up with StarCraft names. And uh, a beacon saving the day for HBZ. Joe's taking down Morty with a brutal bite to the front. And Joe's then taking down Basti. Wow. Depara then putting him, uh, ending his killer run there. Massive gas around the armory. Very, very effective play from Swalk. Gassing the armory means Marines cannot freely rearm and reload on the armory no commander at the moment swalk just dropping huge amounts of gas freely and really i'd love to see duplex move in for the kill here they have the opportunity they, they could have a gorge on the oh looks like we've got a little bit of a server choke there but they could have a, uh, a gorge on that power node right now ending the game now this may be lag as a result of the fact that this signal is coming all the way to australia uh you might be seeing a little in fact, you probably can see a little bit of fight lag here, but uh, that is because I have a ping of 400, because I am all the way over in Australia, and these guys are playing in Europe, otherwise known as a civilized part of the world, Australia otherwise known as a convict colony, so we don't have fast internet out here, and the pings are horrendous. That's why I get so excited when I cast Australian teams. Second infantry portal going up, that infantry portal is up, so HPZ hangs on, but... 
Duplex now, it is their game. They need to get gorgeous on the power node because there is a universal truth of NS2 and that is true now and I'd expect it to be true later on. Uh, here comes a fade, Shadow, what an appropriate name. But gorgeous win games. Skulks, Lurks and Fades do not win games. Trainee defending this corridor, waiting for that fade to come around. He probably doesn't know it exists yet, but here we go. The fades are coming in. So if Duplex cannot win this right now, I'll be very, very disappointed. So go on and Duplex, you can do it. You've done so well up until this point it's time to put the killer blow in get a gorge on that power node or on those infantry portals the reason gorges win games is bile bomb they have the ability to do huge amounts of damage to buildings fades simply don't have the ability to do damage to buildings and even if the fades kill all the players hpz is just going to bring it back in with a uh, beacon but it looks like swalk is trying to bring that beacon down it's now on 65 percent no robotics factory means uh, HBZ cannot repair that observatory once it goes on, once it goes up, sorry. Sorry, once it goes down. Wow, it, it's very early in the morning, guys, and I'm staring there in the barrel of work, so please excuse me. Fade's still in here. This gorge needs Barbon. Who is this? NS2 noob needs Barbon, and he needs to attack that power node, or at least the infantry portals with it. Start flogging these marines. They don't have any max, so they can't repair effectively. Fades popping in and out, but HBZ restores. They are able to respawn, and this is what I'd expect, because uh, with that beacon available, and with Fades just popping in and out, and you can see on the minimap the alien team is quite dispersed. If you just can't win the game like this, you need to go all in at once and have gorges on that power node. I say it all the time, I know it's easy for me to say because I'm just sitting back and watching, but it is true. NS2 Noob being a fantastic gorge though, he is healing up his teammates, great to see that all arms assault, that is what you've got to do as an alien team, is use all classes together and use their unique abilities together. You can't have all fades or all, all lurks or all skulks or all gorges, it just won't work. That fade's got some cloak on, uh, not sure how he's still cloaked because he just attacked. Bassy goes down to Joe's, Morty goes down to Joe's, excuse me, there's a yawn, that's embarrassing, it's so early in the morning, I've had no sleep, oh my god, uh, the gas, very effective from Swalk, definitely would love to see someone attacking the power node right now, what are the infantry pulls on, 99% and 52%, observatory on 60%, yep, so this attack, while it's killing marines, is not winning the game. And then the gorge goes down, so I would be very surprised to see this attack continue because NS2 Noob was so crucial to keeping those aliens alive and healed up. Also, flight control. There is an extractor in flight control. So, uh, Duplex Arga takes down Shilorius there, but uh, Duplex needs to kill this. They need to kill this, and then they need to kill the power node in that order, preferably, because with two extractors, HPZ is going to get, be able to keep buying weapons. Nice cyst spread all the way up in the heliport. Harvester in crevice. Let's check out Alien Star just to just to see what's been going on here. Standard whip placement, mature whip. Interesting. Nice upgrade of that. Uh, that means that they can get bile bomb. That's probably why uh, the team has got mature whip. Crag hive and obviously a shade hive at the second location. Interestingly, that first crag drop was at the second hive. I like that. Keeping this uh, second hive healed up by dropping your first crag there. And the shade as well, cloaked. So nice bases, nice cis spread all the way. Let's go back to Marine Start where the alien assault continues. But uh, still no damage on the power node, 100% and very little damage on infantry portals and a robotics factory has gone up and so there is a Mac and a second observatory so HBZ is going to be able to draw this out for a very long time unless Duplex takes down that power node it is really what they need to do and now a sentry turret up and right now I think Duplex is being punished while they are obviously winning they are being punished for allowing HPZ that second extractor because it's allowed them to get the resources to get this robotics factory. HPZ simply wouldn't have been able to do that on one base extractor. It just wouldn't have enough resources to do it. Come on, someone take a swipe at that power node. Where's that gorge? Where's that gorge of Barbon? 
Excuse me, I am so tired. But I love Castellanos too, so I'm so stoked that Duplex and HBZ happen here. I don't care what time it is, I'll cast your games at any time, guys. Just email me at ns2hd at live.com. .au. The only time I can't cast is while I'm at work, because I'll get fired. And I need a day job so I can keep paying for an S2HD. But, continuing the cast, we have uh, this Fade retreating. He's going to need a heal up. Probably going to need some Crag Spam on either side of Marine Start now, just to keep these players healed. And that should free up the Gorges to attack the Power Node. This Hydra, if it manages to grow, will finally start attacking the Power Node. And that is what Duplex needs. They need to attack the Power Node. And there we go. Finally. And here's the Power Bomb. Yes! NS2 noob, you are an amazing, amazing player. You are not a noob. What are you talking about? Getting bar bomb on that? Look at how low it is already, 80%. And that is with just two bar bombs. If a gorge or two gorges sits there and bar bombs that while the rest of the team distracts the marine team, get two or three fades in there, plus a lurk, and then two gorges on the power node, you'll win. And as you can see, these marines repaired that power node quite quickly. But the damage done was so extreme. Look at that, there we go, look at that. The bar bomb, just bring it down to 10%, just like that. If the gorge can sit there for 30 or so seconds and do that. Excuse me, excuse me that is so embarrassing that I just yawned into YouTube. I, I, guys, I swear to God, I went to bed early, but it just, it doesn't help. So, now, NS2 Noob looking to win the game here. 74% Marines going down. This, I, this is GG, this has to be GG, guys, because 30%, come on, this is exactly the play I'm talking about. Getting the Gorge on the Power Node while the Fades attack the Marines and protect the Gorge. 30, 17%, only a couple more Bar Bomb hits, and that is game over for HBZ. It looks like they are going to repair it though, they've got two Marines repairing that Fade needs to get on there and kill them. He does in fact do that, and now where is that Gorge? There he is, NS2 Noob being the absolute playmaker there. As I said before, Gorges win games. They are the greatest class in NS2. The lights are out. The power node, there, there is a power pack somewhere, I believe. There is, it is in the middle of the base. Power packs are very weak though. So this is, um, this is Duplex's moment. They can kill that power pack and win this game. So two observatories still up, but uh, still Duplex's moment. They just need to find it. They might not all know where it is, but if the Gorge attacked that thing, it would be dead so fast because it just has no hit points. It, it's very weak. It looks like the Lurk, yes, Swalk being an absolutely crazy Lurk, killing the Power Pack, but there is a Mac on it. So it is going to take probably... Oh, that was great work. He took down the Mac. He recognized he wouldn't be able to kill the Power Pack and killed the Mac. One huge oversight, though, as uh, HBZ repairs the power node, is the fact that this extractor is still up and active. It would take just one skulk, or one gorge with bar bomb, a very short amount of time to kill that and stop the big flow of res, and the power node goes back up. So, whoa, and NS2 Noob taking fire there. But seriously, Duplex needs to... Uh, they're going to need to do it again. They're going to need to go in for the fade attack and then go in with the Gorge Bar Bomb on the uh, Power Node again. And that will no doubt win them the game. The Hydra is tapping away at it. That always helps. It's going to go down to the shotgun, of course. But Hydra placement is great for Menace 2 Noob. He's putting the pressure on the Hydras, and that's just really good. Would love to even see a, a quick cyst followed by three or four Hydras on this ramp during a Fade Assault. So while the Marines are trying to kill the Fades, drop four Hydras on them, and those four Hydras will prevent them from attacking up towards the Power Node and holding this corridor. Looks like those cysts are going to go down. Multiple Hydras in this corridor, I like that too, holding this position. So NS2 Noob being a great Gorge, just needs his teammates to come up and mess with the Marines long enough for him to be able to take that power note down again with his bar bomb. Gorgeous with bar bomb is what wins games in NS2. And even as more tech is added, obviously this kind of stalemate is not going to happen when the Onos is around because the Onos is just going to be able to charge in here, smack these Marines around, support the fades, tank damage, and uh, Basically, he's going to just destroy endgame stalemates like this because he's going to be able to kill everything. To Paris says GG, it looks like HBZ has recognized they're probably not going to recover from this. 
and they are going to GG out. So that is the end of this first game. I do have to go to work, everyone, so I don't think I can bring you the second game, but I'll check the time, and if I can, I will. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. A huge thank you to Titus Budzigan and Duplex for allowing me to cast this game, and a massive thank you to everyone who's watching. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see in future. And uh, <laughs> Shalorius says stuck in tech point. That's a bugger. But uh, that is it. Massive cyst deployment into Marines. I probably would have liked to see this earlier just to uh, distract the Marines and give them something to shoot. But uh, that is definitely it for HBZ and a great win to Duplex. The first time I've ever cast them and they managed to beat one of the great NS2 teams, HBZ. HBZ is definitely one of the best teams out there. And so uh, great to see Duplex, an up and coming underdog, manage to knock them out in a game and I can't wait to see them play again in future. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. I'll see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.